Hi guys, it's Jennifer, and today I'm going to be doing 25 bookish facts about me. I wasn't particularly tagged by anyone, but I thought it was going to be a little fun to do this tag. The only thing that it took like way longer to find out like 25 facts to write down, I had to watch like some videos to get some ideas, and but I finally came up with 25, so let's just get started. The first fact is that I have always been a big reader since I was younger. I used to read like all types of books, Harry Potter obviously, um, Crazy Jackson, and I remember in fifth grade I was like reading Twilight in like my class and my teacher was like, what is wrong with her? <laughs> like why are you reading such a big book? I don't even know. My cousin was like three years older than me and she like really liked Twilight like a lot. So I decided why not read it too? And as a fifth grader, why not? The second fact is that my favorite genre is fantasy, honestly, like no doubt about it. I love fantasy like way too much. That's the majority of the books that I have are fantasy or sci-fi related. So yeah. <laughs> Number three is that I don't really use like bookmarks. I, I have a few bookmarks around the house but I honestly don't know where they are. So I'll just use post-its notes or like any type of piece of paper like a Barnes and Noble like um, receipt. I'll use it as like a, a bookmark and that's about it. <laughs> Number four is that some days I would literally dedicate the whole day to reading. Like I will be like, yep, today I am just reading, no phone. I mean, that's a lie. I will use my phone a little bit. But like, you know what? I'll like read the majority of the day and try to get at least like one book finished. And you know what? It's a nice, it's a nice day. The only thing is I haven't been doing those lately since I was in a book slump. And I'm still sort of in a book slump and I'm trying to get out. I mean, I've been reading a few books. It just isn't, it isn't as fast as I was like reading like a, a month or two ago, so... Number five is I don't read any of my hardcovers with the actual dust covers on because I honestly have like a fear of like ruining the dust covers so I would literally like put them away and like you know just read it like bare because you know what I cannot I cannot have those dust covers get ruined I swear to god. <laughs> Number six is that I love hardbacks obviously I, I tried to like at least like buy mostly hardbacks but I honestly love the feeling of like actually like, reading a paperback but I can't give up my like my addiction to like buying hardbacks. They look so nice on like the bookshelves that I have to get them. <laughs> Number seven is that I usually could read about a hundred or more pages uh, like in an hour if I really do enjoy the book. If I don't then I will read it slower but if I really do enjoy the book I will like read it a hundred to like maybe 150 pages like a hour which is pretty quick but I'm a fast reader. And I Number eight is that I hate mass paperback uh, like books. I don't even know anyone that honestly really likes those. They're just so like uh, I don't, I don't like them. And I have, I think I have a few. I have one is the um, Name of the Wind by Patrick Rufus, and honestly, I regret buying it in mass paperback. If I could redo that and like buy it in a normal paperback, I definitely would, because that was just so bad, such a bad decision. Um, number nine is that I usually don't listen to music while I'm reading a book, but sometimes if I find a, like a specific playlist or uh, like a specific song that goes with the book, I will like listen to it. But usually I'm really the person to just like not listen to any music. Number 10 is that I usually don't eat or drink anything while I'm reading a book except water. Honestly, I don't want any food on my books, so that's why I do that. <laughs> Number 11 is that I definitely judge a book by its cover and it's a really bad habit and I want to stop but I probably won't. Um, which is why I haven't read the Vampire Academy books yet because honestly, I have the first book and the like I think the like fifth book because I've got it at like a cheap price of, like for a dollar or two at a like outlet. But the only thing is I still haven't picked it up because those covers like are completely outrageous and I really don't like them. And I heard great things about them. But yeah, I don't know. And also like um, Jennifer L. Armantrout books, they I heard such amazing things about them but the covers like really like turned me off. It just doesn't work. It does. I don't like them. <laughs> fact number 12, it actually goes with fact number 11 is that I hate books with faces on them. I think the only like few books that I actually like are, am okay with that have faces on it are like um, the selection series. But number 13 is that I used to dog ears my pages when I was younger and I'm so happy I got out of that habit because honestly like even like considering doing that to my books right now like literally like frustrate me so I'm glad that's gone <laughs> number 14 is that I usually wait for a series to be complete so I could like marathon it unless there's certain series that I do start like that aren't finished like Lady Midnight or The Young Elites but like I, like the Raven Cycle I definitely waited for like the Raven King to actually start so I could like actually read that whole series even though I like read part of the first book so I'm really excited for like the Raven Cycle because I had heard amazing things about that, so I'm like really, really excited. Number 15 is that I usually like imagine myself like having the same situations like while I'm reading as like some female characters, and I'm just like, oh my god, why would this happen to me? Why did this person betray me? And it's like, I am them. They are me. Okay, not really, because I don't imagine their face. I mean, my face is like their face, but you know, you know what I mean? Like, I know what they're feeling, even though I haven't been through that. 
but you know. Number 16 is if I really love a book, I will own multiple copies of it, aka The Mortal Instruments. I am definitely going to go buy the actual UK like paperback editions because after seeing like so many people get them, and especially seeing after Emma Books, like shadow hunter like shelf thing i was just like oh my god i need the uk editions and also i am trying to get the hardback old or like originals but i'm trying to get them for like a better price because they're really like, really expensive so i'm gonna see i'm gonna go like book shopping and like thrift stores and see what i could find hopefully i could find them if i don't then i'm gonna have to pay that like price but you know what it's all worth it <laughs> Number 17 is I usually have to always like read till the end of the chapter. I can never stop in the middle of the chapter. It absolutely frustrates me. And also I hate when the chapter ends with a cliffhanger and I'm like, nope, I have to read the other chapter. It's, I have to. Number 18 is that I'm usually not a fan of novella bind up. The only one that I can remember like really enjoying is the Tales of Shadowhunter Academy. Like I absolutely love that one. I really thought it was going to be like so annoying to have to read it to wait to like read Lady Midnight but I absolutely love those stories they were so interesting and way better than I thought they would be I should have expected them to be good I don't know what I was expecting <laughs> number 19 is I usually don't lend out any books to anyone because honestly I don't have any friends like around here that actually read and I did let one of my friends borrow my City of Bones the like original copy and he gave it back to me like seven months later and that's only because I asked because I'm pretty sure if I didn't even say anything he wouldn't have given it back Number 20 is the only time I listened to an audiobook was Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Leventhal. Honestly, I never really finished that. I think I listened to like 20 minutes of it and I really like, I really didn't like it. But that was also four years ago. And I don't know why I didn't enjoy it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it was a story or maybe I just didn't really, really like, like audiobooks. But I do want to start them again because I know a lot of people enjoy them. And you know, it seems like pretty easy. Like I could just like put it on when I'm doing something and I could just get like at least half the book finished. So hopefully sometime soon I'll start it, maybe. Number 21 is that I'm planning to get some bookish inspired tattoos by the end of this year and I'm like really excited for it. Number 22 is I could read with a lot of noise around me but I'd rather read in a quiet room. Number 23 is that I prefer to read one book at a time. I know some people could read like multiple books at a time and I could do the same thing but I'd rather just be fully invested in like one book at one time because I just get like way more like into it. Number 24 is that I usually buy my books all online. I will stop at Barnes & Noble occasionally, like if I have a coupon or something. But usually I get them online because it's like way cheaper to buy from the Barnes & Noble website than it is from the store. Which is kind of ridiculous since it should be the same price like at both places, but whatever. And also Book Outlet's pretty good and, and Book Depository, so you know, why not buy it online? Number 25 is that I really don't read contemporaries and I really feel bad about it because I really have heard amazing things about some contemporaries, but I have just not gotten into it. I read mostly my fantasy books or my sci-fi books, so I don't know, I really need to get into it. And I told myself this year I would try, but still to this day I have read like maybe a few. Not a, not a bunch like I wanted to and not specific ones, but I'm trying. <laughs> if you guys have any suggestions for contemporary novels that I might enjoy, that would be like amazing. That was the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe down below if you did enjoy. I have my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Goodreads down below if you want to follow me. That would be great. And anyways, thank you so much for watching. Bye!